Today's lesson is on multiplying and dividing monomials. A monomial is an expression that includes one term, so it would be like 3xy, 2x squared, or 5y. Any one term is a monomial. The first thing we're going to learn is how to multiply a monomial using the law of exponents. So if we were to um, multiply 5 to the third power times 5, we know that a number by itself has an exponent of 1. So it's really 5 to the third power times 5 to the first power. If I were to write this out, 5 to the third power would look like 5 times 5 times 5. Then we're multiplying by 5 to the first, so that would just be 1 5. So 4 5's, 1, 2, 3, 4, would equal 5 to the fourth power. And that would be, this would be simplified now. It works the same for variables. If you have a variable instead of a number like c, it works the same. c to the third power would be c times c times c. And then we're multiplying that by c to the fifth, so it would be c times c five times. After we've multiplied them all, we would just have to count how many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it would be c to the eighth power would be simplified. Number three on the example problems is a little different because it has a coefficient with it. The coefficient of negative 3 and 4 has nothing to do with the law of exponents. Those will just be multiplied like you normally would multiply. So negative 3 times 4 is equal to negative 12. So I know my answer is going to begin with negative 12. Now I just have to multiply my variable x with its exponents. So x squared would be x times x. And then x to the fifth would be x five times. One, two, three, four, five. So this equals x to the seventh power. I add that to my negative 12. It becomes negative 12x to the seventh power. If you noticed on the example problems, there is a rule for multiplying monomials. The rule would be if you have the same base, you add their exponents. So if the base is 9, you're going to add their exponents. If the base is a variable, as long as it's the same variable, the same letter, you're going to add their exponents. Try these practice problems in your notebook. Make sure practice problems go on the left-hand side. Now we're looking at dividing monomials. This is another law of exponents. So 4 to the 8th divided by 4 to the 2nd power. So normally you'll see it written like this. So what is 4 to the 8th power? Well that's 4 8 times. Divided by 4 to the 2nd power which would be 2 times. Now dividing is a little different than multiplying because we're going to have to cancel these out because 4 divided by 4 is 1. So these two would cancel out, these two would cancel out. So all we're left with is 4 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th power. We're left with 6, 4, so the answer would be 4 to the 6th power. The same works for variables. If we have n to the 9th over divided by n to the 4th, it would be n 9 times 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 divided by n to the fourth. 1, 2, 3, 4. They're going to cancel out 1, 2, 3, 4 till there's no more to cancel out. And we're left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 n. So n to the fifth power. On this last one, we have coefficients, 12w to the fifth power over 2w. It's going to work the same. The coefficients have nothing to do with the variables and the exponents, so you're just going to divide them like normal. 12 divided by 2 is 6, so I know that my answer will begin with 6. 
Now I have to figure out my variable. W times W five times divided by one W, just W to the first power. So these W's would cancel out. I know that six needs to begin my answer, so six to the one, two, three, four, six W to the fourth power would be my answer. So the rule for dividing monomials with the same base is to subtract their exponents. You're going to take their exponents and subtract them. The top part of the fraction, the top part of the dividing, minus the bottom part. Um, try these practice problems in your notebook.